I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we're gonna make this delicious barbecued beef pizza and we're gonna be using some of that leftover brisket from when we cooked our bulk brisket dinner earlier in the week so let's go see how this all comes together we're gonna get started making our barbecued beef pizza and this is in our series of bulk cooking for our beef brisket now for some reason I feel like I'm not gonna get quite as many meals out of the brisket as I did out of those two enormous chickens but brisket does cook down in the end after it was all said and done the final cooking weight was probably around eight pounds from the ten pounds that was originally when I had it raw and then um, we ate it for dinner that night and everybody likes brisket I've been trying to keep everybody out of it so we're gonna see exactly how many meals we can get I tonight I know you haven't touched it because you didn't know it was in there <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna make a barbecued beef um, pizza tonight and this is very similar to the barbecue chicken pizza that I made but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use some of our sweet baby rays that we picked up in our Sam's Club haul and if you like hauls I'll leave a link down below where you can see that and then we're just gonna spread this on you can use as much or as little barbecue sauce as you like you can use whatever barbecue sauce is your favorite you can use your own homemade stuff or your favorite grocery store brand pizza night is usually kind of a little bit of a break for mom because um, it's easy to throw together I can do other things while the pizza is cooking and I personally feel like um, it's not as difficult as some other meals that you can make. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with some mozzarella first. And I am using this stuff out of the bag from my freezer because that makes it even easier. I didn't have to grate anything. But you use what you prefer. And then I'm gonna hit it with the, the beef. I've got some um, beef brisket that I shredded I kind of broke it up with my fingers and I'm not going to use all that I have over here. I probably shredded twice what I needed. So there's more for me. I'm going to put it back in the box. But I'll go for something else. And there you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit this with a little bit of sweet onion and I have some sweet pepper rings. These are those little um, miniature bell peppers and I have a couple of red ones and a couple of yellow ones and I'm probably not going to use all that I sliced up. So really pizza is so awesome to make your budget stretch because everybody loves it and you can make a pizza out of just about anything. So tonight Obviously, we're making a pizza with beef brisket, and we're gonna turn it into Texas-style barbecue pizza. And I think everybody is gonna really love it. I probably put a lot of onion on here. Probably. So I'm gonna kind of take some off. <laughs> but that's a sweet onion, and it's going to cook down and into that sauce, and it's gonna really accent it. Now, I actually thought about putting some of my candied jalapenos on here but I want my girls to eat it. I don't think that they'll eat it if I do that. I'm gonna hit this with some a cheddar blend that I have. This is one they call mac and cheese cheese and it's gonna be nice and melty. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with some of my sedged rib rub and this is kind of going to accentuate the fact that it's a barbecue pizza because this has all those great barbecue flavors and you don't have to do this you can leave it off if you want that's just going to add a little extra seasoning to the mix so i'm going to go ahead and throw this in my oven which i have preheated at 400 degrees and if i didn't mention it already this is my big batch pizza dough recipe I will link that below as well at the end of the video I'll link it with a card so you can find it more easily I'm just gonna bake this off and then I'll bring you back when it comes out and I'll show you what it looks like 
there you have it. This pizza cooked for about 20 minutes until it was brown and bubbly and the crust is perfectly done. I'll show you the bottom. See, it could have gone even just a few minutes longer, but this is perfect. It's been cooling for a little while. I went ahead and I sliced it and I'm gonna have Rick have a little taste. I have to. You do. What do you think? Oh, that totally works. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. You can make a pizza out of anything. Even with onion, it'll work fine. The onions give it a different depth of flavor. I really think it brings a lot to the party. You're gonna love this. Oh my gosh, that's good. Mmm. So, we can add another thing to what we made with our brisket. And you can give this a try too. I hope you do. And if you like this video today, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, as I always like to remind you, hit that bell button so you don't miss any notifications from YouTube when we upload a video, because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time, right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this barbecued beef pizza a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.